before I was a filmmaker, before I was a photographer, before I was a graphic and web designer, I was a Mac support technician for an Apple reseller in uptown Minneapolis. I guess you could say I'm a bit of a techie. I love technology, I'm good at working it, and one of the first things I wanted to do when we got horses was set up some cameras so that I could see my horses from the house. Well, we finally did it this last week, and I'm excited to show you my setup and how it works. For the last few months, I've been reading and researching and spending a lot of time on Amazon trying to decide what the best option was. Uh, some of the things I was looking for is something I could look at on my phone, on the TV, on my iPad, really anywhere. So even if I'm not home, I can check on the horses when they're in their back paddock area, which in the winter is really where they spend all their time. And in the winter is probably when I'm the least inclined to want to go out and physically check on them. Okay, so here's kind of the lay of the land. Here's kind of the lay of the land. We have a square acreage. On that acreage, we have a house, and we have a barn. And the barn has a lean-to. And the horses have lots of pasture that goes around the property. But at night and in the winter, we keep them in this area. And the problem is, from the house, we cannot see the horses. So what we did was install the camera right here. Biggest problem there was getting Wi-Fi from this corner of the house to this corner of the barn. While reading reviews for the Wi-Fi extender by Netgear that I was looking at, I read a review that said you'll get best results if you also buy this Netgear router that's compatible. And we were using an old Airport Extreme and so it was kind of time to upgrade the router and oh my gosh, now my whole internet's faster. So what we ended up doing was buying a router that would send the signal here. And we have a Wi-Fi extender that sends the signal here. So now we have Wi-Fi really in this whole zone of the property and we can see pretty much this much of the sacrifice area where my two loves spend their nights and winters. The camera that I landed on was this one from Amcrest. It's a Wi-Fi compatible, iPhone compatible, iPad compatible, all the things compatible. And I can control it from all of those devices. I can pan back and forth. I can see it, the horses at night. Um, I can hear them and I can also speak to them. Uh, not that that's really nice because they're like, whoa, where are you coming from? Where is she? So anyway, um, this is the camera I got. The first thing I did was set up the app on my phone. And seriously, they say it's a 30 second setup and they're not even kidding. All I had to do is scan the QR code, you know, put in a password that they provide and I was in business. And you can see that my horses are in the lean-to and I can see it from my phone. I have a TV in my office for uh, when I meet with clients to do their orders. And I have an Amazon Fire Stick on the TV so that I can watch streaming movies and whatnot. And what I was able to do actually was to add an app called Tiny Cam Monitor Pro that will bring up the barn cam on my TV. So, Maggie Sue <laughs> levitated from one side to the other. This first came in handy the other day when we had a severe storm blow through. It's always a tough call what to do with animals. Should they be inside? Should they be out? If there's straight line winds or tornadoes, there's a really good chance they'll get hurt if they're in the barn. If there's lightning and debris and they're out in the middle of the pasture, there's a really good chance they could get hurt outside. And so my compromise is to put them back into their um, fenced area and that way they won't take cover in trees, they'll take cover in the lean-to. It was fabulous to be able to, in the midst of all the wind and the rain and the lightning and the hail, to be able to look out and see right in the midst of the storm that they were safe and dry in their lean-to. The camera has night vision and it's just a little bit terrifying because at first I thought there were like a thousand bugs out in their uh, lean-to at night, but it picks up all the dust. But it also allows me to see how the horses are doing and that they're fine tucked in for the night. But we're super happy with this setup. So happy that we're gonna get more cameras and one of them is gonna go right between the horses' stalls. And that way when they are in at night, I can just pan back and forth and just make sure that they have hay and they're happy and uh, see how much of a mess they're making. I'm gonna put links below for the router, the extender, and the camera 
so that if you're interested in setting up something like this, uh, I'll make it really easy for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you're enjoying these videos, I would love it if you would subscribe in my YouTube channel and leave a comment or a thumbs up.